Rennes hoped to snap a winless streak at Roazon Park when they took on Breton neighbours Lorient. Philippe Montagne's side have lost just once in the last eight league games but are without a win at home in eight. Lorient, meanwhile, have been beaten just the once in their last eight in all competitions. Well, the visitors without top scorer Benjamin McCanjo but looked to show that they were more than just a one-man team. Roman Filippo leading Steven Moreira on a merry dance. And it ended with Fallo Dian poking past his own goalkeeper. Terrific work. But then finding themselves one down. But the visitors almost shot themselves in the foot. Benjamin Lacan lucky not to be punished. By Giovanni Sio. Potentially better options for the striker. But he took the shot on himself. And Lacan making amends somewhat. Majid Juarez could have been wearing the red of Rennes before a last minute change of heart took him to Lorient. The Ghanaian showed what they were missing. Tapping in when the ball came off Benoit Costille. To his frustration. Terrific work from captain Yannick Joffrey. Down the right. Juarez in the right place at the right time. But Rennes' response was almost immediate. Osimani Dembele ending the year with a Breton derby goal against Gangon. Beginning 2016 with another. Teenager cutting inside and slamming in at the near post for his third of the season. The teenager calling for a reaction and just four minutes before the break they were all square. Lacombe with no hope of getting a hand to Jeremy Boga's curling effort that sent the home fans into ecstasy. Time for one more delivery, but with Lacan's hands on the ball, Frank Schneider blew for half time with the score two apiece. Rennes coming back from the dead with the chance to end an eight match winless streak at home. That's the worst since a 10 game streak back in 1991 92. Sylvain Ripple wanted his Lorient charges to rediscover their decomposure. They almost found the lead again. Juarez, though, finding the post. It was the same fate that awaited Dembele. Well, chance for Rennes to unleash Johan Gurkhoff, having brought him in on a free from Lyon. The 29-year-old almost left as soon as he'd come on. But amazingly, a rough introduction was given out by his own teammate. Oshar Mbengue was looking to take the shot on before Gurkhoff got involved. Unfortunately, no chance of a penalty. Thankfully, Gurkhoff walked off the field as Rennes left with a point that keeps them a point and a place above Lorient, with both still in contention for European qualification.